Automated recycling has been in parts of the Houston area for the better part of five years. The truck that uh, goes out and picks up the 96 gallon cart is a automated side loader truck we call it. It utilizes uh, one person crew versus a, a two person crew with the small green bins. Which saves money on staffing costs for the city. It also benefits you as the larger bin on wheels allows glass to be recycled. Something that wasn't permitted under the non-automated program. So why are parts of the city still using this? We don't have a dedicated funding source, so it's taken us this long to uh, be able to get enough revenue and resources together to uh, expand the program citywide. We're in the process now of delivering carts to all the about 104,000 homes that don't have it. We anticipate that will be uh, through by the first week of March. And by the time the second week of March comes to a close, all curbside recycling done by the city will be automated. Carts were first distributed to neighbourhoods who showed high demand for the service. But since that time, pockets in each of the city's 11 districts have made the switch. Spring Branch received their carts this week and residents are excited for the change. I was in the backyard, I didn't know what was going on. And lo and behold, here are our new green bins. We're not going to be able to put bottles and cans and papers and... The other bins were fine, but they were very small. And just because this 96-gallon bin can hold more items doesn't mean you can throw whatever you want into it. When we deliver the cart, we have uh, information with the cart. Make sure that they read that information. The green container is just for recyclables. Don't place any type of trash or non-recyclable material into the green container. But the city is currently doing studies on whether or not it's feasible to combine trash and recycling into a single bin. For Houston Public Media News, I'm Edel Howland.